Okay, so let's look at the hide and show command uh, in this video. So hide and show is nothing but these two options. So if I want to hide geometry from the 3D workspace, so basically I have to select whatever I want to be want it to be hidden. Say I want the, this part body to be hidden. I'm going to select that. I'm going to click on this. It's going to hide it. Now, if I want to unhide it, I need to go to the uh, hidden workspace, hidden uh, space, workspace. So to access that hidden workspace, I'm going to click the last option over here. This swap visible space is going to take me to the hidden workspace. And now I can select that part body again and unhide it. So again, I will be going to the main workspace and we can see that the part body has appeared again. So this, uh, this option of hiding and, un uh, and unhiding can be accessed through the right click mouse button also. So if I'm going to unhide uh, this pad, I'm going to just right click it, I'm going to select hide and show. It's going to do the same thing. And again, right click hide and show, it's going to show it. So uh, basically anything can be hidden and shown. So if it is plain, if it is sketch, or if it is any uh, part body or any feature, anything can be hidden or shown. If I want to hide these planes, I can do so and just I can go to the uh, hidden space and again I can unhide them. So you can do that for anything, whether it be point, line, plane or solid or any surface. So this is very useful option for managing the uh, complexity in the 3D workspace when you're dealing with a lot of planes, lines and a lot of geometry. It will be very useful.